this might be why your vocal sounds muddy. One thing that you'll find after adding compression to a vocal is that the mid-range can get a little bit beefed up. And that's kind of how you get that like overly compressed sound is by having like a mid-range that's really jumping out at you. That's what I don't like about certain compressors. So what you do is add multi-band compression. And this is how I set it up. So my goal is really just to even out the mid-range and get it a little bit more consistent. Usually if it's like a male vocal, I'll do like between 100 and 700 hertz. That way I'm kind of ducking down that mid-range a little bit and getting it a little bit more even and consistent sounding. Now you don't want to do too much or it'll sound a little bit too thin usually i found like between like one and three decibels is kind of a sweet spot depending on the vocal but it's funny because it's kind of like less is more through doing some subtractive work to these mid-range frequencies the clarity in the top end is that much better because of the fact that there's not so much mud yeah. here's the vocal before multi-band compression and then here's after Kind of helps just a pro tip if you boost it a little bit as well. That way you're kind of making up for what you're taking out and just evening it out as opposed to just ducking it down entirely. This is the step in mixing vocals after EQ and compression that most people are missing. 